Hi everyone, today I'm going to be going through how you can paint these eagles in watercolour and I'll show you a whole bunch of techniques so hang around if you want to find out. Now I'm just starting out with the preliminary sketch, I've already done this a while back and make sure that you get that sketch down packed before you even start painting because that's going to be your guide for the entire painting. Now I'm starting out with the beak and just using some watered down gamboge yellow always looking back at the reference picture and looking as well at where the shadows are so there's a bit above the eye a little bit around the feathers of the the head and under the neck and I'm just using a very watered down gray that I have just left on the palette from the last time I painted I never clean out my palette very rarely. The main thing you got to watch out for is to make sure that yellow isn't mixed with any other color. Now I'm going through and I'm mixing up a darker paint here using my three primaries. I want to get a kind of dark gray slash black and this is for the feathers underneath the neck and I'm now using a small flat brush and just very loosely indicating where those white feathers end and going through and painting that area underneath the neck now. And remember this is the darkest area in the reference picture so relatively speaking you want to always be comparing the colors that you're putting on to the page to, to make sure that you've got the right values. Is, is this the darkest area? Is this the lightest area? Um, you know, whether you have mid-tones to add in as well. So that area underneath the neck is a, is a tone that's in the middle. The paper I'm using is uh, actually a sketchbook. I work a lot out of sketchbooks these days. It's not 100% cotton paper. I'm not sure what it is. It's one of the Stillman and Burn sketchbooks the the beta series and I, I use this for some portraits and animal sketches because the paper is quite smooth so you can get a lot of detail and the colors look quite crisp once they dry just added in now I'm adding in the background and you see a really big difference and it's quite contrasting actually and this this is just a bit of negative painting so I'm cutting around the white areas and I'm using a flat brush just makes it a lot easier the blue sort of background cobalt blue and especially around the white areas of the right side of the head you do want to make that quite dark and I've added in a little bit of warmer color on the right hand side just to change things up a bit. Now what I'm doing here with some of the feathers on the neck is I'm just added in a bit of water to my brush and I'm lifting out some of this darker paint just to help those white feathers blend in a little bit more. And I've gone over and done some of the darker feathers as well as you can see with some darker paint just indicating I'm not trying to draw every every feather in got a small round brush now and just detailing this beak and just adding in little bits of detail here or there but I'm being careful not to add too much detail to a certain area otherwise the painting becomes unbalanced I want to preserve this this style that I'm using and um, the style that I paint in for most of my paintings is a very loose style and the reason for that it's just a personal preference now I like and enjoy the freedom of just being able to I guess get a painting done without having to worry too much about all the little details and stressing about is this exactly how it should be that kind of thing and I do like putting my own personal personal sort of spin on on the on the subject as well so I find this this style helps and works for me 
I'm going through to do the bottom eagle now and I'm adding in the same gamboge yellow just dropping in a bit of darker paint as well to the beak and already just moving into some of these shadows this is a number six brush and I'm just using a bit of that leftover grayish warm gray paint And like the top eagle, I want to be very careful to leave those white areas. And at this stage, it really doesn't look like much, but you'll see later when you add in the background, all the details start popping out. I'm doing the area underneath the neck again. I've mixed up a very dark grey slash black. And just getting all that in with a flat brush. while that's drying just doing a bit of detailing around the the eye and it's up to you how much detail you want to add in you can keep on going and as much as you want really I do make a conscious effort to stop at a certain point otherwise you can lose that freshness of, of the watercolors now I'm adding in the background in some cobalt blue I think it's also mixed with some peacock blue as well funny color that I got from uh, my other watercolor set and as I keep returning to the palette I'm picking up a different mix of color I just want to make make it look a little bit more interesting and especially down the bottom I want to I just want to make it lighter but with the top area to make the feathers, the white feathers of the head stick out more and um, have a better contrast. I'm just going as dark as I can, uh, always as pretty dark with, with the blue paint. And cutting around these areas to indicate the feathers. And if you use a flat brush, it's really easy to do this. So resisting that temptation to color everything in you have to leave out those feathers uh, now I'm just doing some of the darker feathers underneath the neck with a bit of the leftover gray paint on the palette gray slash blue paint and like the top one I'm not trying to draw in every single feather I'm just indicating really some some of the details there and You'll see me doing this often and I'll go over it again and add different layers and when you add in a few of these layers it starts to really really stand out and look appear like it has a lot of detail when really it's uh, really just a few lines and strokes that you've added in with your paintbrush and just darkening the area below the beak I want that to contrast the beak and the, the feathers of the neck to contrast a bit more with the background Again, I'm just trying to redo these feathers. The previous mix of paint wasn't quite dark enough. I'm almost dry brushing some of these feathers in as well. Just adding some extra shadows I think that's it I'm giving it a whole dry now and there's a last thing I want to do I've decided for the end I, I want to make make the painting look a little bit more dramatic a bit more interesting so decided to add in some trees and the big thing with these trees is to continue with that loose style of the painting don't make them too detailed and just let them branch off randomly I do want them to, to sort of trail off in the top right hand side of the painting though 
but that should really only take you about 30 seconds to put in quickly. I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.